Okay, a quick video explaining what a standard candle is and how we use them in astrophysics and astronomy to estimate distance to objects. A okay, standard candle, well, standard just means it's it's known. Uh, candle refers to the luminosity, to the brightness. So these are objects of known luminosity, and we use them in a similar way to uh, to how golfers use these marker flags here. The only difference being we can't have preset distances, so we can't necessarily have them every 50, 50 meters or 50 light years or whatever it is. Okay, but we do still use them in a very similar way. Now, there are two main types of standard candles that, that we need to know about. There are more, but these are the two main types. The first ones are Cepheid variables. Now, these are stars that uh, appear bright and then dim and then bright and dim. So they pulse. Their luminosity, the amount of energy they throw out, changes um, because they're, they're unable to get to a stable position. Their luminosity is related to their time period. Okay, so the, the more luminous they are, the brighter they get. Uh, that affects how frequently um, they pulse. The other type of standard candle we need to know about is a type 1a supernova. And this is a particular type of supernova that's created in a, a binary pair between a red giant and a, uh, a white dwarf. We don't need to know that, we just need to know it's a, it's a, it's a supernova with no luminosity. Very, very bright, very, very rare, that particular type of standard candle. Now, how do we use them? Well, the thing we know about them is their luminosity. So we know that their brightness, the amount of energy they throw out, that's measured in watts. If we know their brightness, how bright they are at their source, we can measure how bright they appear from Earth, okay, which is used to be known as the intensity, is now known as the radiation flux density. That's measured in the, the watts per meter squared. We can then use the inverse square relationship here to calculate the distance where distance is d. So obviously the further away they are, the less bright they appear on Earth, therefore the um, that, that's um, therefore yeah we get less of their energy in total. Okay. 